My name is Rafin uh, Chamala. Um, I come from the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. I live here. Um, actually, I'm an Australian citizen. Uh, I'm a father. Uh, I have young, two young boys. Yeah, actually, uh, that's uh, an exciting uh, story that I would like to share with the whole community in Australia. Uh, not only here in Perth, I would like the whole uh, uh, Congolese and African community uh, in every state to know about this because um, as I did my research to know a little bit about the local government, I found out that nobody from the uh, African community uh, has ever stood as a candidate before. Uh, so I took the opportunity, I said, why not, because um, if we need to, when we're talking about integration in Australia, we need to understand that we need to integrate into political uh, realm. That's actually when we are going to influence the decision-making process. So we don't have to sit and wait for the policies and legislation to affect our life. You know, most of the time, my people, when I say my people, I mean the people that I identify myself with, migrants and African people uh, are more uh, connected, they are more acquainted with the, uh, with the federal politics or the st state politics. But what they don't understand is uh, the politics that affect their everyday, day-to-day -day life, it's actually done in the local government. So if you are not connected or you are not involved, you will be affected by the legislation that are made but you are not involved. So I thought um, it's good for us to get involved in the politics uh, of Australia and uh, uh, particularly the local government politics and um, uh, for us to uh, you know, express our integration. Okay, uh, not only when uh, I will be elected. I started that work even when I was involved in different community um, activities because if you look at my uh, CV or my biography, I've been involved in many uh, community activities here in Western Australia. Uh, I was the founder and the president of the African Student Union in the University of Western Australia. Then uh, I was involved in a lot of activities and I was also the vice president of the Congolese um, uh, community of Western Australia. I was uh, the community liaison officer for the African professional of Australia. So a lot of uh, activities that uh, I, I was doing was to educate people how to get involved in activities, how to get involved in affairs that, that are connected to our life. So if today, uh, with your help, I get elected into uh, the local council, so I will continue with that avenue of educating the people. Uh, last weekend, I went with my campaign team uh, to do um, uh, door knocking. So I was talking to people, asking them, what do you want to see happening in the community? And I organized workshops and meetings to talk to uh, the people. To, tell, to explain to them, to educate them uh, about the issues that are happening, that are, are very important to us. So I will continue with that path and I will make it even more better because I will be now into the council and I will have access to their voice straight from the community to, um, uh, you know, to the decision-making table. Uh, there are actually a lot of issues that are really um, affecting the local community. Uh, actually, the biggest issue that I'm looking at is the, um, the unemployment rates for youth. You know, most of youth, um, most of our youth, that's according to um, the research, when they reach year 10, they drop. They drop at school. And they don't get adequate uh, training, vocational training, and it's affecting them to enter in the job market. And now that we are having this issue of uh, unemployment that is Australian-wide, uh, the economy uh, with the mining boom, which is winding down, 
we have a lot of people losing their job and they cannot go back to, um, to, 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 the, to work because they are either they don't have adequate uh, uh, training or they don't have a vocational training or they are just not um, uh, well prepared. So issues like that are uh, what I'm looking at uh, to organize uh, uh, you know, programs for youth, especially for youth migrants. We also look at the, uh, the issue of uh, our environment. That's also one of the issues I'm passionate about. You know, uh, we need to improve the environment uh, you know, to tackle the issue of, um, of a climate change. So we can do that in a, in a local level as well. So uh, apart from that, um, uh, there is also uh, some similar issues um, uh, into the community, like integrations. You know, so we can organize program. We will organize programs and get uh, enough help uh, uh, there and there. You know, to support you know uh, programs and events that can bring uh, you know the whole community together. Uh, help our youth to integrate this, this um, uh, community where they come to live so they will be successful, they will be competitive in the, uh, in the Australian market. Uh, the last message uh, I would like to give is let's uh, us all uniting together uh, so we can make these things happen. Uh, concerning my election, so the, for the people that live in Western Australia and that lives in the Balga world, that is actually uh, the suburb of Mirabuka, uh, Nolamara, once minister, um, uh, the Balga itself and a part of Danela. So by the 25th of this month, you will start receiving your ballot paper. So it's very easy to vote, just uh, sign uh, the certificate and tick my name put it back in the envelope which is prepared and send it back to the WA Electoral Commission. That the way you can support this election and make me win. I would like to be your voice in the local government. Thank you so much for all.